Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're gonna to be covering Zer and what he is selling. He's currently selling hard light, which is really good in PVE in my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna ignore this because this is not the important part to me. The important part to me is the fundamentals. Uh, cycling through solar arc and void just by holding R, that's really important because let's say you're running a nightfall or a lost sector, for whatever reason, they all have shields of each color, so solar arc and void. This weapon's gonna be really good because you're gonna be able to cycle through that. So for example, the Harbinger mission has all of those burns. And for me, I just end up using hard light because I don't have to switch weapons or anything. I can just use this and kill the shields immediately. So that's really beneficial. Uh, not only that, it does have a catalyst if you're interested, but overall, definitely get this if you don't have it. If you have it, obviously you know, and you don't need to get it. For Hunter, it's gonna be Graviton Forfeit. I really like this helmet. It's one of my favorite helmets. Unfortunately, uh, the stats are not that great. You want, high, you want high mobility and high recovery. Intellect's pretty cool, uh, re resilience is not that great. Increases the duration of an, any invisibility effects while you are invisible. Your melee recharges faster, your weapons reload faster, and your recovery is greatly increased. That's really cool. Hunters, I highly recommend this. Even if you don't like the perks or the, or not perks, if you don't like the stats, I still suggest you picking it up just because, again, the duration is very important specifically if you're using like certain builds and whatnot like this helmet is what i use when i'm doing the third portion of the pit of heresy dungeon titans you're getting paragon greaves i'm not the biggest fan of your role I, like 10 mobility is not great but at the same time it's not bad 16 and 16 on recovery and discipline is pretty cool because you can probably put probably you'll probably you'll be able to get uh 26 recovery or 26 uh discipline or 17 resilience if you're interested all all shoulder charge abilities seismic strike for arc hammer strike for solar and shield bash for void deal bonus damage when activated in the air this does stupid amounts of damage i highly recommend it if you don't have it uh if you do have it i and you have a better role in this don't, don't even get this and last but not least warlocks you guys are getting con Controverse holds, resisting coming damage while charging your void grenade with chaos accelerant, feed the void or handheld supernova. Charged void grenades return a random amount of grenade energy on hit. Uh, this is definitely great. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is your mobility is way too high. You're definitely gonna want discipline and recovery and intellect for those who like that or resilience for those who like that as well. I'm more partial to res resilience myself, but this is a really good arms. I would recommend just getting it if you don't have it, but if you do have it, uh, you already have it. And if you, it's better rolled, then why even look at this? Uh, for the legendary weapons, we have a Dire Promise with triple tap and under pressure, which is pretty interesting with a stability masterwork. I would probably not like this weapon personally. Nine Hunger with subsistence and demolitionist. If you have a grenade build, this is gonna be super dope. I highly recommend this one. Uh, Cold Denial with Feeding Frenzy and Head Seeker, I do not recommend this at all. Uh, Distant Timulus with Lead from Gold and Quick Draw, I do not recommend this at all either. Wishbringer with Field Prep and Rampage, this could be a really good PvE weapon. Um, maybe PvP, uh, to, just to see how many Rampage you need to kill people outright from like stupid distances, but other than that, I probably would stay away from that. Send the Sarah Saw, the only reason I would recommend this, even though it has Zen Moment and Elemental Capacitor, is if you want to do the the war mine build but don't have a seven serif saw that's really good and then the trinary system with quick draw and tap to trigger which is interesting oh shit and has charge time uh, maybe because it does increase stability i don't know i i'm probably gonna buy it just to check it out and for the legendary armor it's gonna be the it's gonna be the wing contender armor set for the titans warlocks and hunters i assume and at least for the hunters it's this and this is probably one of my favorite sets i highly recommend if you if you want to like transmog it pick it all up because it's really cool again it's one of my favorite one of my favorite helmets from the game and i'd say this too but no not really so that's pretty much it let's find out what i get this week okay give me a good roll that's not a good roll eh no it's not I mean, mm, mm. no, that's fine though. I gotta upgrade this anyways. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts in the comments below. 
do you guys like what Zer selling let me know in the comments below thank you everyone for the support i really appreciate it man um i will most likely be streaming literally right after i post this video so if you want to come check me out uh twitch.tv slash fix tony you guys can find me there we're probably going to be playing destiny 2 will most likely be playing destiny 2 because i got to do a raid today so i will see you guys later